Hello, friends. It's, uh... <clears throat> um, what was his name? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Astro. It's Astro here, and welcome back to RimWorld. Um, guys, I decided to do something a little bit different with this episode. You know, we've got Zia, we've got Cactus, and Sam, and Mazer, and Squirt, and everyone's just sort of cruising about, doing their own thing, and everything's fine. You know what? This episode... I've decided to do something that you've probably been hoping for, for quite some time. I've decided to do a an episode of viewer suggestions. Yes, it's, it's, it's the things that you guys have been screaming at your monitors for. Like, just absolutely smashing things and breaking stuff and praying and hoping for, for quite some time. So... I'll start off with step the first. Um, a while ago, uh, Dusty Crow, one of my subscribers, mentioned that uh, there were some horrible, weird creaking noises that were sort of popping in in the background, and it sounded like a haunted house, like a haunted creaky door. Well, it turns out that was my chair. So um, I've busted out the WD-40. So Crow, I hope you're happy. My chair is... I'm rocking in it at the moment, and there are no weird, creepy sounds. Of course, the music starts up at this moment. Oh, God, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, Rimworld. How are you so perfect? Really? Please explain it to me. Anyway, so, no creaky chairs. But let's go through this episode. I'm going to keep this one, you know, relatively short. I want to keep this sort of 20, 30 minutes. Um, I want to address the things that you guys have been suggesting. Uh, and there have been a few. There have been a few. So let's start off, um, first of all, I mean, there's a bunch of blood here. I can't do much about that at this stage. We just have to wait for people to sort of take care of that. Uh, Mazer and Cactus have got their nice new big bedroom here. Uh, Mazer's old room still has all this crap, so we'll just haul that stuff away. Uh, our turkeys are cruising about, our muffalo are cruising about. We've got some, uh, some lovely hay grass that's being planted out here in the muffalo yard to, to... Oh, Locust exited the map healthy. Relationships with the Kin League of Kabe have improved by 15. Spiffy. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm happy. That's nice. In the meantime, let's get this next thing underway. So we're going to orders here. Cactus is fully healed. Let's uh, let's dig out a nice room like this, and we will. Uh, I guess we'll we'll grab some marble wall here. We'll build a copy. We'll make a nice little room like this, and then we'll uh, uh, go into structure. And we'll just smooth off these walls here. All right, we'll smooth the rest of them as well when they appear. But for now, these ones here are fine. We'll get this underway. I want a nice sort of long room here. And a muffalo is pregnant. Excellent. We'll get a nice long room here where we can, uh, we can store some things. And you'll see what those things are momentarily. We'll get... Uh, Cactus, why did you eat there? Look. Have a look at your needs. Eight without a table. Here is it. Is this table too small? I feel this table is too small. Okay, let's fix this table as well. Let's uh, let's deconstruct this table, and we're going to build a new table, which is going to be larger. So we'll reinstall these table, uh, these chairs. Move them out a little bit. Reinstall over here. Great. Let's have a new 3x3. Three three. Look at this big bad boy table here. Mm -mm. We'll, put it, we'll put it down like this. It's going to be relatively close to the party stop, the spot. And then we'll have a couple of extra chairs. Because we've got six people. So we'll have six chairs around this new table. So theoretically, Cactus may prioritize that, please. So theoretically, this new table should mean that the eating without a table shouldn't be a problem anymore. I I, I mean I've I've got um, hmm. 
I've got a mod, you see, which is meant to mean that it doesn't matter where they are, they should go back to the table to eat their meals, right? No matter how crusty and, and busy it is, they should... Colonist needs rescue. Oh, Mesa, what have you done? Lovey. You've been attacked by a turkey. And you've got a shattered rib. Oh, gosh. Okay, who's... um? Uh, look, no, Sam. Health. Weakened. Cactus? Okay, you're okay. Go and rescue Mesa for me. It's a bit, it's a bit nippy out there. It's minus one. She could do with getting rescued. I'm... <sighs> she got attacked by a turkey. Come on, Mesa. Please. How can you fail so miserably? Oh, shit. There's a mad turkey. Oh, I see. Cactus. Arm up. Melee attack this turkey. Yeah. Yep, you got it. Come on. Come on. Just mess it up. Yeah. Come on. How's it done? It's got a bunch of cracks and it's... Oh, you've cut its eye out. That's pretty good. How you doing? A stab scar and a scratch scar. But you've got a couple of turkey scratches. These turkeys are mean customers. Okay, you can go. No. No, 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 no. That is the least of your concerns right now. Your biggest concern, because she's in the middle of nowhere, is rescuing Mesa. Because she is in a spot of bother. Unfortunately, he's now got weak in uh, movement as well. So, imagine I hate now. Ah, look, it'll be fine. Let's, let's just ignore that and let it work itself out. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, this episode has not started the way that I hoped it would. I was hoping it was going to be like, Oh, we'll build out this lovely new room and, you know, we'll take care of all the things that need taking care of. But no, it started out with a turkey attack. And Mesa getting downed by a rabid turkey. Thankfully, she is going to be rescued by Cactus, her loving boyfriend, who's going to bring her back pop her into bed where she can just rest up from her turkey scratches probably in here and quite frankly she's probably going to bandage herself but that's that's a whole nother kettle of fish but let's um let's crank it up to three speed and get this uh done and done because uh, we don't want to be waiting around for this forever and quite frankly cactus has taken his good old sweet time look the sun's coming up and everything it is five o'clock in the morning He's finally brought Mazer back. She's finally been put into a, a med bed. And Gordon Bennett. She is just not in a good way. Not in a good way whatsoever. Zia, on the other hand, is just like... 420. You guys rest up. I'm just sorting myself out over here. But that's Zia. And you know what? No one really minds about Zia. If Zia wants to roll back and just just roll up a fatty everyone's just like look that's cool Zia you do that because you know what you are just just utterly beautiful because she is she's gorgeous I mean look at her social stats everyone look at Maze's opinion of her had deep chat times 8 71 point actually no that's her opinion of Maze. but you look at Maze's opinion of Zia plus 40 beautiful Look, it's Squirt's opinion of Zia. Plus 40, beautiful. Everyone loves Zia. Because Zia... Mate, she's, she's just the rock of this society. The utter, utter core of what makes this place a wonderful a wonderful place to be. Um, let's, uh, let's get these walls smoothed out then. Get that all prettied up and tartalicious eat. Now... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a copy of this door. have a nice little door here. We've got a lamp in here already. It's going to make this place uh, all sweet and tickety-boo. We're going to put some nice, uh, let's see, some smooth floor in here. Right? And that can take its time. It'll, it'll take a while to get all that done. But here's what we want to do. So, 
you know how in the past we've had the zzz event? Or the zert? Or whatever, however you want to pronounce it, right? What is this? No, I don't care. We've had that event where a power cable shorts out and all of a sudden we have a huge fire. And then we have to bite, battle the fire and it's it's just... Oh God, it's just a pain in the, in the absolute Jackson Brown. So what we're going to do, you see, the reason why those zert events... Um, yeah, that's fine. The reason why those events are so bad is because we've got all of this stored power here. So we're going to grab these batteries, we're going to reinstall them up in this room. Uh, B for reinstall, E for rotate, click that there, good. B, E, click, it's snowing, which is lovely. And we'll put this one here. And so these batteries, we're going to place them up here, watch this. Guys, watch this. Lisa, watch this. We're going to connect, so this is all uh, Lisa's idea, one of uh, my other subscribers, this is all for you guys this time, we're going to put switches in here like this, I'm going to put a power conduit running down this wall here, we'll, we'll put one up here as well, why not, we'll connect it like we'll do the both ways -y thing that we usually do, we'll connect these up with switches, and here's what we're going to do, watch this, so these batteries are going to come online, at the moment we have no battery power connected to the grid, Right? As these come online, these ones at the top here, they're, they're pretty fully charged, like 999, 990, 980, near enough, right? Near enough to fully charged. So, Maginot is coming through, and, oh, I realized something too. Check this out. Here's Maginot, right? And I saw this, and I'm like, Maginot? That sounds familiar. I, I'll rename him to, like, Line, because that'll be all, like, clever and stuff, because Maginot Line. Well, guess what? This dude's name is Francois Maginot Schmidt. Francois, French. Schmidt, very German-sounding name. Maginot was the line, it was like a line of, like, forts and stuff between France and Germany at the start of the Second World War. And France defended that line, expecting the Germans to, like, throw themselves upon it and, you know, not be able to get into France. And unfortunately, Fran uh, Germans sort of went, well, we're not stupid. We're going to go, like, the other way, like, through Belgium and stuff. Because why would I, you know, fight my way through a heavily fortified line when I can just, you know, stroll through Belgium? Anyway, that's a little bit of what may be not entirely accurate history. So what we're going to do is... Um, no, I don't want to build a copy. Um, this power switch I'm going to turn off. And this one, we'll turn it off. And this one, when it appears... Guess what? We're going to turn it off. So we can only have one battery connected to the grid at any one time. This battery will should be enough to keep us sort of like fluctuating as time goes by and we need more power we'll just turn one of these other batteries on and there you go it'll it should basically be a way to restrict the amount of power that get, gets dumped into the network if there's a short circuit so fires and and problems that we have because of short circuits should be much less. They should be limited. It should be much less painful. So that should be fun, right? So there you go. Hopefully this will um, get built at some point. This one's been built and is online, so this is connected. If I look at the uh, if I look at the power, oh shit, we're getting a uh, prison. Oh, 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 what happened? Prison break. Where is she? Or he? Who was it? It was Comba. Where'd Comba go? Um, okay, well, Comba's beaten me to the second thing that I needed to worry about. Because you see, Comba can come straight out here and like just look at all these weapons that are lying about. Um, except I can't see where... Oh, there we go. There goes Comba.
Oh, you picked up. Oh, you piece of. You jerk. Comba managed to steal that superior revolver that I had lying about. Oh, that is. Oh, that chaps my caboose. Utterly, utterly chaps my little tushy. All right, well, let's uh, let's not dwell too much on that because the other suggestion that Lisa gave me was this door here is actually a problem because if there is a prison break, which we just had, they can just stroll out and steal a weapon, which is what just happened. So, yay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build this wall out like this. And I like a two-wide corridor. So we're going to have a two-wide corridor leading up to here and then... I guess we'll have... Should we have it like... We'll have it like this, right? We'll have a little enclave here. Identical blueprint exists, and it's fine. So we'll have a little enclave here. We'll have this little whole section, which will be like this lovely, you know, Wolfenstein 3D cobblestone that leads down to here. We're gonna build a copy of this door, like this. And then we're gonna deconstruct this door and replace it with a wall. And this prison is gonna be broken momentarily, but we're, uh, we're gonna have it so that the only way out through the prison is this way, which will go through here, and then there'll be another door, and then, All right, it'll be fine. Oh shit, we're out of steel gonna mine up some more steel. We got the... There was some steel here. I think we need some more. Where is some more steel? Over here? Okay, cool. Uh, orders. Mine. That. Excellent. Okay, cool. So, the jailbreak has occurred, as I was hoping that it wouldn't do, but thus is the nature. Old Cactus Man is gonna... is gonna finish building this corridor down and this will hopefully provide a bit of a that's fine we don't care and a prisoner break has already occurred that's fine animal starvation whoa whoa why are you guys start oh dear hang on area uh restrict no where is it zone area expand allowed area turkeys Okay, so we've made a slight area here. Let's just let's just prune that out so that they can get to this food. And hopefully tomorrow they'll all go up and have a bit of a feed. Sort themselves out. Ah. Oh. Well, funnily enough. So, building out the battery banks. That was one thing. Uh, fixing up the, uh, the prison door and making it so that, that was sealed behind a wall. That was number two. Number three... These chuckleheads, right? They got some food up here at the moment. That's fine. And you know what? I tell you what we'll do is we'll just go to clear zone and we'll remove this blob here and this hay, which is all frozen for storage at the moment, can be moved up here so that it can be eaten. But the other thing that we can do, these flower pots, right? It's just a wooden plant pot with a daylily in it. But they grow super quickly, and guess what they're super useful for? If you provide two per animal, and we've got all these beds, so I figure we'll, pro you know, just put two pots per bed. Like this. We're going to run out of space at the bottom. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we're not going to run out of space. Um, this one, cancel. Never mind, we just cut into that egg zone there because this is the egg zone at the bottom. Um, when you plant these flower pots, yes, they do make things pretty, which is what I've always used them for. They, they're a great way to tart up bedrooms. Oh, we've got some that are missing here. Let's build one here. These ones, okay, these ones need one as well. Beautiful, okay. So they're a great way to tart up bedrooms. Awesome. But if they're placed in here, if these turkeys run out of food, like, if they can't access this hay grass, they'll just go ahead and eat these plants. It's great. It'll keep them just ticking along. Just enough for what they need. Uh, Zia is doing some... Let's 
priority important? I was watching back through one of my old episodes and I saw Zia carving stone and then instead of dropping it here in this zone, which is meant to be for... Oh... Manufactured. Um... Is it raw resources? Stone blocks? Stone blocks. What is this one? This one should be items. Art. Okay. And this one is art as well. And this one should be stone chunks. Which it is. Okay, great. So last time I saw Zia carving up stone. And then instead of dropping it here where I want it to go. She was hauling it all the way back down to this room here. Which is not ideal. Oh my god, look at all this leather and crap that we've got in here. Alright, let's um, let's open this area up a little bit. So let's uh, deconstruct these walls. The eclipse is ending. Excellent. Which means that this battery, which was almost empty... Wow, look at it going up! We've got this power situation well under control, just with these two panels. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm also quite surprised about that, quite frankly. I thought we would have had many more problems than that. Um, okay, so that's taken care of. Oh, we need to turn this one off. So let's toggle that one off. That should be flicked rather quickly. There we go. Okay, so three full batteries. One which is charging up super rapidly. And will be ready to go shortly. So we can get ourselves through the evening. Um, plenty of food for our turkeys. Uh, we've got our new corridor set up here. We need to uh, we need to seal off this prison again because at the moment this is all classified as prison. We need some new floors. Where's floors? Uh, we need some marble tiles like this. Oh. Oh well, we're gonna have marble tiles like that, and then zone area stockpile zone. We'll just extend this zone. Architect, stockpile zone. Extend. Okay, great. So that zone can now be slightly larger to accommodate for our growing needs. Of which there are many. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, feels good, man. Alright, shit's getting taken care of. Look at this. We've got stone blocks starting to appear. We've got slate blocks. What? What was that? Escape pod? <gasps> <gasps> Who's this? Veli? Veli the blacksmith? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, dude. An apprentice smith who then became a blacksmith. Oh, he's a prosthophobe. Who is too smart and also trigger happy, but holy dooly. He is a region known master of crafting. A master crafter. This dude totes totally, fully, finagly, fishizzly needs to join us in super happy go fun times. Let's rescue this guy up. Because this guy, if we can get if we can get him on board and hooked up into Flavortown in this bedroom right here, old mate is going to be a super artiste. And uh, you know what? I'm looking forward to that. Let's let's uh, let's patch old old mate up here. Make sure that he's looked after well and proper. Uh, Sam's doing. Uh, there's no hunting to be done, so evidently Sam's doing. Sam is doing some mopping, making sure the place looks good. I feel like we haven't done any research recently. Do we need... We've only got the basic bench. Let's, um... I tell you what, let's let's reinstall this here. Here? Here. Reinstall that there. And then let's get production. High-tech research bench. 259, I've stored 10. Okay. So we need some more components, and I think there was some, there's some steel here. Orders, mine, steel. Alright, let's just chunk that out. 
Was there any components or only some more steel there? Components. I don't need too much more steel. Components. Component. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller. Aha! Components. Spiffy. Hey, Vale has joined our group and he's no longer incapable of walking. Welcome aboard, old friend. Inspiration shoot frenzy? Shooting accuracy will be improved for the next three days. Well, that'll help you with mining. And also, you don't have... <gasps> Sidearms! Oh, shit, I forgot about this. Okay, here's the thing. Alright, we'll come back to this next episode. But, what I've done is I've, in I've installed this, like, mod. Where... Um, so like, for example, let's check out Sam here, right? Sam's got an assault rifle. Awesome. Cool. No worries. Good for range combat. Lovely. Except when someone charges at Sam and like comes in with a club and stuff, Sam puts her rifle away and like bust out the fisticuffs. And against the club, that's not exactly that useful. So what you can do with this mod is you can go, hey, Sam... Oh, buddy, old pal, go down into here and grab, see this normal Ikawa? Yeah, sidearm, mother trucker. There you go. We've got a sidearm now. So in the event that, it, that, um, that Sam gets rushed by a melee person, she'll just rip out. Instead of trying to, like, fisticuffs her way through it, she's going to, like, pull out her little blade and go, like, heh, heh, heh. No? Roberto? Just me? Um, so yeah, she's gonna, she's gonna, like, mess some people up. Sta oh my goodness, what's this? Marble Grand Sculpture Normal. Not installed. Quality Normal. It's by Zia. What does it say? This carving bears an artwork of a bomb. A parrot lies beneath the main subject. The image is totally devoid of both poverty and goodwill. Oh, Zia. You warm the cockles of my heart. Let's, uh... Where, where can we put... Oh, God. Look, it fits. It fits perfect. Look at it. It's a giant bomb with an ex-parrot beneath it. Zia, I'm so proud. I'm so... Oh, my God. What does it give us? 326 points. God damn, this room is awesome now. 500... Uh, Wow. Okay. Alright, I'm not complaining about that. That worked out quite nice. I mean, we could potentially sell that, but you know what? A bomb with a parrot beneath it, which is devoid of uh, both poverty and goodwill, that, that totally has to go into the common room, right? I think everyone can enjoy that. Well, as the music has denoted, um, I think it's probably time that we... Uh, we roll up our swags we've uh, we've got our batteries set up now the uh the birds have gotten their their stuff to eat and we've uh, we've fixed up this sort of corridor here so that we've got a bit more of a a secure situation going on with the prison i mean it's not going to be a huge amount better but at least they won't be able to have immediate access to weapons they'll have to like break back in through two more doors in order to get to the weapons otherwise they'll just bust out and then there'll be turrets out here eventually. As soon as we get this goddamn turret research completed. Which, really, we just need this. And then blowback. And then gun turrets. And we're there. And we can start building turrets around this place. And protecting our dudes. <gasps> we've got another... Uh, uh, we've got two more adult male turkeys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's turkey breeding time, guys. I can feel it. I can feel it in my fingers. I can feel it in my toes. It's on. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really enjoyed having you here with me. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.